Hey everybody, DM Scotty here. Uh, good to have you with me again. Um, this uh, episode I'm going to show uh, a, uh, a Warren complex I made for uh, my, it's a mite layer that I have. And um, I want to show you that. It's uh, a giant uh, layer. I've had people ask about seeing a whole completed tile system. And since I've been working on this uh, through the videos, I thought it might be fun to show the, the completed system. Um, I have uh, the terrain on the boards, but I don't have like the individual little creatures or uh, I, might, I might have boxes or barrels or other little, little bric-a-brac on, uh, on some of the tiles. I don't have that um, set up on the tiles. I've just got the basic system set up so you can see what it looks like. So. Um, I don't have that. Also, in the future, um, I'd like to show, uh, I'll show some more of my layers that I've completed. I've had people ask about it. Um, one thing I did notice in the video, though, when I was shooting was um, I have a section that has a muddy boiling pit with a small, narrow path going across. And um, the way the light hit, because I put gloss on the mud and the way the light hit it, it doesn't look very well because it's like reflecting the corrugation from the cardboard uh, back up to the camera. So it doesn't look very good but um, on the video. But it looks really good uh, on the table, so that's what I'm concerned with. So um, I want to show you this and uh, let's get to it. So I've been talking a lot about the uh, mite layer that I've been doing, and I thought everyone might like to see it. So this is kind of the uh, part, front part here, and then I'll kind of pan around and show you everything. This is the whole thing completed. Now, obviously, I wouldn't put this on the table. This is pretty ginormous. Um, but um, what I would do is have one or two sections on the table at a time. So you can see that it's a pretty sprawling uh, dungeon. And then I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about it. Um, so here will be the entrance area, and then it splits off in the two areas. One area I've got is going to be a storage area, and I have a little shelf there like I did in one of the other videos. Uh, over here is a pit area that the uh, players have to skirt along the edge there. Uh, then it goes down into, there's going to be an audio down there, and they have to fight that. There's also a pit in that room. They could be thrown into this um, area here so it's a separate uh, cave area um, and it slants uh, sharply downward. Um, then in the center here I was going to have a rust monster so both areas will lead to that center part before they move on to the later part of the dungeon but uh, if they take this way then they would it could be easier to get to that center if they don't then it goes around um, goes down through here. Now I've got ants that are also helping, giant ants that are also helping the mite. So these are like ant tunnels, so the players have to crawl through those. They're very thin tunnels. Then the, uh, the mites are supplying the, uh, my ogres with uh, food stuff, so they're growing this fungus, and I've shown that in one of my videos. And so here's another offshoot from the, the ant tunnels into the fungus areas. Then if you go down this uh, long ant tunnel, that's where the ant queen will be, and I was going to have some eggs uh, that she's guarding and the players can try to destroy those. Then as we go up uh, to this part, um, go down another ant tunnel, and this is um, where um, some players are going to be kept behind this thorn wall that we did. Uh, I haven't shown that yet, but I was going to show how to do that thorn wall. Uh, so if we go back up to the center, um, they, they go through that whole section, they have to go back up to the center, and then that leads down to um, towards the deeper part of the uh, cavern. Um, then it goes in. Uh, that's where the traps are going to be. The spear traps are going to be in that section there. And then when I move on, um, here's uh, like some boiling mud I've got going. There's a sh uh, thin path going across, and the players are going to have to get their way across that. Um, then in here, here's a junction um, where the two sections split off. Uh, one section is the tiered tile you saw me do uh, with the mite holes that the mites will keep coming out of. I've also got those root pillars in there. Uh, then the other way was going to be a, night uh, night, a mite nursery. And uh, there's kind of a pit uh, with straw in it where the mites uh, have their babies and everything. And then that goes into the final area. Both, two, both of those areas uh, go into the final area. 
um, which that looks kind of strange, um, but that is a, um, the, they're, gonna, they're milking this giant creature and uh, it's in the center there and uh, the milk is uh, leaching into that trench and then they're scooping it up and uh, this sticky gooey substance and uh, giving it to the mites. It's almost like a giant caterpillar uh, creature that they're doing that with. Uh, now um, with this part I have the two um, root pillars and what I was going to do is, here let me reach down, what I was going to do is when they, on the final tile I was going to put those here. So you can see uh, when you have stuff like that you can move it around. So those would be two, um, some areas of uh, terrain and uh, some cover for the players as they fight uh, this giant creature. So that's it. So that's uh, one of my dungeons. Uh, it's a cavern system. And uh, people were, were curious about seeing a whole one, and I thought this would be pretty spectacular to show because it's, it's giant. And just shows really what you can do uh, with these techniques. So uh, I'll see you next time on the DM's Craft.